So today I'm repairing a 2005 F250 vacuum reservoir or vacuum accumulator. Uh, it's a gas engine. It's not the diesel type that requires a separate vacuum pump. And uh, my air conditioning uh, airflow was going off, stopping when I was uh, accelerating and returning when I was uh, running steady state. So that told me that we had a vacuum problem. And it turns out that this is the vacuum accumulator tank and right over here was a hairline crack. And I'm sorry I didn't, uh, didn't take a, a photo or do a video before I repaired it. But I just mixed up some epoxy and I spread it all the way around just to make sure if there were any other cracks around that area that uh, it would be taken care of. And um, now I've got it under a couple of inches of vacuum and it's been holding for several minutes. There's a check valve right here where it says vac. So when you put vacuum on the port that says vac and then remove the vacuum hose from the port, it should retain the vacuum. There's a check valve in there. So the way to test this thing is to just take your mighty vac and connect it up to the other port, which goes to your uh, vacuum doors and other vacuum accessories, and crank up on the, the vacuum. And if it holds vacuum, which this one is, I mean, I can get this thing all the way up to 15 inches of mercury, but I'm not going to because my hand is tired. <laughs> so, but it, uh, it's holding vacuum. So the, the leak has been repaired, and the air conditioning system should run perfectly. I'll put it back in the truck, and I will connect the line coming from the intake manifold of the engine to the vac port, which is right here and connect up the other line. Well, actually, the connector on the car, there's only one way you can put it on, so <laughs> you can't make a mistake. But anyway, that's how you repair uh, one of these guys. Uh, you know, it's just a hairline crack. The truck, it's 2005. The truck is about, uh, well, it's 16 years old now, and it's got 300,000 miles on it. So rather than spending 50 bucks on a new tank, I just threw some epoxy on there and we're probably good for another 300,000 miles. Thanks for watching everybody.